Let's talk about the second theatrical film released this week, which is Adrift, which is a movie that I would not typically care much for because it's the romantic um, survival movie where, like, it's not anything that I would gravitate towards to watch first, but I usually try to see ev almost everything in theaters, and I thought this might be tolerable because it's got Shailene Woodley in it, and it has uh, Sam Chaplin, Kaplan, however you say his last name, who uh, was Finnick in The Hunger Games. Um, that's the only thing I know him from, but Shailene Woodley, I felt like watching this movie, I felt like it would be fine, and I would have just thought it was an okay kind of same old kind of movie like this is, that has been done before but with a different actor in it and go and watching this movie I kind of felt a little different about it because this movie actually does a good job with a lot of things for me for this type of genre that I don't usually like that much and in terms of performances Shailene Woodley like she is really actually incredible in this movie and I've thought about this since, like, for a little bit since I've seen it, I've thought about her performance. I thought she is really, really giving it her all. She's really giving a genuine performance. And the thing I really like about Shailene Woodley, I mean, she, like, she has movies where she does phone it in, especially the last Divergent movie. She really phoned that in because she did not care. But in a lot of movies she's in, whether it's good or bad, she usually can elevate the material because she has such a nice genuineness to her and I think that she's just beautiful and wonderful as an actress and I think that she does a great job in this movie and she really gravitates this material which isn't even terrible material it's just it's very simple and the thing I think is funny about this movie is that there's literally only five actors in this movie um the main two and then one girl that they that she hangs out with at the beginning and then these two characters who are the people who s tell them to s or get them to sail so there's literally five actors in this movie and I thought that was really funny and a really um, an interesting thing I like whenever a movie can do that where you can only have a couple actors in it but make it work and it worked really I thought really well in this movie and like I said Shailene Woodley out of all the actors in this movie the five of them she was incredible and I think that she completely brought this movie to a level that I did not anticipate. And Sam Chaflin, Sam Kaplan, Chaplin, he is good. Um, but he's, like, he's fine in it. But he's just, I don't know, he's, he seems typical in this role. Like, it doesn't seem like anything different from him. But I feel like Shailene Woodley did give it her all and gave such a genuine performance. Um, just, like, little things. Like, there's a scene where they're both, like... They're both on the boat, and they're trying to find something to eat, because they've been stuck on there for a while. And she eats this peanut butter, puts some in her mouth, and just goes, oh, oh my god. Like, in a reaction that seems so genuine. And that's a weird little, little thing to point out, but I thought that some stuff like that, where she reacts to stuff, I felt like she was really giving it her all, and giving such a genuine reaction, and such a a way that I loved her in this movie like I usually do and I think that she just did a fantastic job and like I said Ch Sam Chaplin is fine and the other three are just in it for like a scene or two and the movie does an interesting job and I've seen complaints about this where this movie is not in a normal narrative it's not like it starts out that they they meet fall in love and then get on the boat and that are on the ship and then it happens it actually starts with it already happened like the situation already happened in the water and it does a interesting back and forth where it shows scenes before and before this happening and showing scenes of them falling in love at the same time so I felt like the pacing really worked in this movie because it had such a weird narrative structure that actually made it more interesting to watch because if it was the typical romantic story where like it starts from the beginning and goes to the end with the big final moment with the tsunami it wouldn't have it wouldn't have done anything for me and I feel like since it was all random on purpose in terms of the narrative I thought it made it more interesting the pacing more interesting um, it did a good job of that in this movie 
I did not know anything about this real life event. So there's a moment in this movie where I was just like, what? what? Like, it literally just threw me through a loop, and in a good way. Um, there's this moment that I won't spoil, and if you don't know anything about this story, don't go, don't read about it until you watch this movie, um, and then read it afterward, because that'll it'll help you, trust me. I really thought that not knowing a thing about it gave such a cool narrative twist to it, and without, without spoiling anything, it does a really great twist, and I really, really thought it was really well done. Um, so overall, I thought this movie was, um, for a movie of the week in the theater, it was perfectly fine. I honestly liked it more than, I thought it was better than a typical average movie like this, because of the performance of Shailene Woodley, because of the narrative structure was all random, so it made, a, it, made it work in the pacing department where it wasn't just the beginning to the end again, like these typical movies do, and I thought it would be more boring because of that. So this was a really interesting surprise, and because of a good performance and because of the narrative flow is different than usual for these type of movies, I really enjoyed this. I thought this was really well done. Um, it actually got me. Just, just It had such genuineness about it in this movie, and I thought it worked really, really well. So overall, I really enjoyed this movie. So movie two out of three this week is doing... I'm doing pretty good watching these.